Yo, what's going on guys? Happy Cinco de Mayo. May 5th, right around 1 p.m. right now. About to make breakfast, I guess lunch, pre-workout meal. Haven't eaten yet today, just been doing some work on the computer. But we are going with some eggs and waffles. Fit and active multigrain waffles for two of them. Three fat, 24 carb, and four protein. So we're gonna double up and get four of them cooking. Hopefully they all fit in here. Do a little overlap game. And get some eggs going. What up, waffles? You guys cooking? Alright, cool. I'll see you in a bit. Eggs going over here. Making a nice big omelet. Going to top it off with some salsa. Yep, I'd say that looks pretty damn good. So that's done. I think the waffles are just about done. I like them a little bit crunchy. So, another minute or so. Alright, final product. Four waffles with some sugar-free maple syrup. And the omelet topped with this pineapple peach salsa. So it's peaches, jalapeno peppers, and pineapple. So, that is going to be delicious. Now time to see who's on the YouTubes. All right, so sitting down to our pre-workout meal, waffles and omelet. Got a lot of videos to catch up on. A lot of people have been uploading, I guess, missed out on the weekend. I didn't really watch any on the weekend, so definitely gonna watch a few of those to catch up. Gotta hit the gym myself, do some deadlifts. Shout out to Kenny Gonzalez, man. Congratulations on that first place win. Didn't doubt you for a minute. You've been grinding for a long time and the redemption paid off. So awesome work, dude. And yeah, let me eat this, watch some of the tubes, and then probably get ready for the gym. Yo, what's up guys? I'm away home from the gym. Great training session today, some lower body hypertrophy work, and starting to incorporate some new movements in. I did, uh, I was able to film a few sets of deadlifts, which I'll throw on the screen for you in just a minute and added in some walking dumbbell lunges as well as leg extensions, which I haven't done since last year. So that will be quite the treat for my quads the next couple of days since I'm sure they'll be pretty damn sore. But I'm excited for it. I'm really going to place a lot of focus and emphasis on trying to grow these wheels. Since from the injury, obviously my legs did shrink and they weren't very big to begin with. So, you know, we gotta get as much as we can out of them. So. Really just trying to make progress every single session I walk into that gym, although I know that's not always possible, but it's 110% effort every time. And the weather being nicer out really uh, has a lot of effect on my mood as far as the gym goes. Now, I don't care if it's a blizzard, raining, snowing, sleeting, hailing, sunny, cold, warm, hot. I'm going to go to the gym and I'm going to give it my all. But when it is nicer out, I just feel like I get a better workout. Now the the weather does affect my mood. Not to the point where if it's snowing, I'm gonna shoot somebody in the head, and if it's sunny, I'm gonna give them a hug. But I'm sure this has happened. Comment down below if the weather kind of influences your mood at all. Sometimes just when it's rainy and crappy out, you'll still make time and get to the gym because if you're dedicated, that's what we do. But when it's nicer out, you just, I don't know. I'm just more positive, more excited to get to the gym. And then the egos come out. Like today in the gym, it's around 60 something degrees today. And I have nothing against people wearing tank tops and stringers in the gym because I do and I'd be a hypocrite if I said elsewise, elsewhere, else, anything else. <laughs> but, uh, but ego lifting comes out. I mean, if you want to wear your tank top and show off your muscles, that's cool with me, but I don't know. I Maybe again, because the summer's coming, people are just trying to show off. The gym was really crowded today. And I saw some pretty unique stuff today that you typically wouldn't see when someone's wearing a hoodie and they have nothing to show off. So for all the ego lifters out there trying to show off their shreds, don't compromise your workouts just to do so. I saw a lot of uh, quarter squats and horrible cheat curls and just stay humble, people. <laughs> What's going on guys? We got some commentary for you all right now. Some lower body hypertrophy work. Just warming up here a little bit. A lot of people ask me, what do you do for your lower body warmups? 
Essentially, what I do is I foam roll and stretch until I feel ready to go. Now, you can also go on the Googles or YouTube and simply type in DeFranco's Agile 8 or Limber 11. And what I do is I take a little bit from each of those and incorporate them as well. But if you just search them, you'll see videos and instructions on how to go about them, and those should be a sufficient warm up. So today we had some deadlifts. We're working with 70% of my safe one rep max, currently set at 405 pounds. Actually, pretty excited to retest that as I do think it is higher than 405, but we'll wait until the end of the program to do so. So on the bar, you see 285 pounds for six sets of five which totally kicked my ass. That's 30 reps of deadlifts, more than I've done in quite some time, but needless to say, this used to be my max weight not too long ago. So coming back from the injury strong, feeling good, and really looking forward to the progress uh, that I've been making and then I'm going to continue to make as time goes on. So I wouldn't go as far as saying the 285 for six sets of five was easy, but much easier than I ever thought it would be in this short of time. So here's a side angle. I'm definitely happier with my form, but I am noticing my hips shooting up just a little bit too quick. So what I'm working on is taking the slack out of the bar before pulling it off the ground. And what I mean by that is simply just taking any tension out of the bar and getting tight and then pulling it up rather than kind of jerking the weight off the ground and snapping the bar up. So it's always a work in progress and just trying to get better every day. So after this, I moved on to some hip thrusts, some hack squats, and then some walking dumbbell lunges, which I look like a goon doing these in my small calves and tall body, but <laughs> there's only 20 pounds in each hand, but these kicked my ass as it's been a while since I've done them. I did two sets of 20 per leg, so 40 steps per set. Did a little bit of leg extensions, and that pretty much finished off the workout. What's going on guys? Just got out of the shower a little while ago and this hair needs to go. A couple days we'll cut it off. But sitting down to some dinner right now, what we have is somewhat of a taco salad, some shredded lettuce, some chicken breast, refried bean, jalapeno, sour cream, and Walden Farms barbecue sauce. My last Meals with Maddie video, I kind of show a recipe of how I make this, but it looks a lot better in that one. So check that video out if you didn't see it yet. As well as some pop chips, two servings of the sweet potato pop chips, and I just use these as scoops, scoop them up and eat them like that. So it's going to have this, got some Sprite Zero on the side and answer some emails. All right, it's around 9.30 right now. Time for some protein. That's right. Strawberry, blueberry, spinach, banana nut Cheerios, protein powder. Look at that thickness. So we're going to eat that biatch while we edit some footage. Today was speed deadlift, so... Yeah, you can see some from today, but it's around 9.30 p.m. And I have a client to Skype with on the West Coast, so they're three hours behind, but they won't be around until later tonight, so got to stay up for a couple of more hours. So I'm going to make this a productive night while I'm up, edit some footage, get some other stuff done, and that's it. But I'm going to close off the video here so I can enjoy this routine and get back to work. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Hopefully you had a safe and fun Cinco de Mayo, and I appreciate your support as always. I'll see you guys tomorrow.